So that which you cannot see, that which you cannot touch, that which you cannot perceive through five sense organs, that is called a nothing or a nothing. That's called shiva. Shiva means that which is not. Now, if somebody begins to experience that as a living experience, we refer to him also as Shiva. But somebody who has not experienced it, we refer to him also, half the people in this country at one time were named after Shiva. That is all the men, I'm saying. <laughs> Ladies were uh, Shiva, uh, you know, Shivangi, Shiva this, Shiva that or Parvati, Gauri, this one, that one. Why this was so is constant reminder that you need to look beyond what is there in front of you. This physical form of being a man or a woman or this person I like, this person I don't like, beyond this, when I call him Shiva, now I cannot see… say I like him or dislike him. When… when your name is Shiva, you claimed already you're Shiva. When your name is Shiva, when I call you Shiva, I cannot call Shiva angrily, I cannot do something. It's a kind of a control over yourself that you cannot abuse somebody. You cannot say, hey Shiva, you're this and that. You can only say Shiva <laughs> So we created a culture like this where constant reminder, constant reminder, wherever you look, we even called our dog Shiva. Yes, we never thought it's an insult because he's as much life as you are. We called… if you see a tree, we say Shiva, if you see a rock, we say Shiva, if you see a bird, we say Shiva, simply because the source of all that exists here as physical stuff essentially comes from that which is not a thing or no thing or Shiva. So, this is why this talk about third eye and people think their forehead is going to crack and something is going to pop out, <laughs> nothing like that. These two eyes can show you only that which stops light. The day you start seeing things which do not stop light, then we say you have one more eye going. You have an inner eye which is able to see something that these two eyes cannot see. So third eye does not mean forehead cracking up and you becoming some kind of a freak out. <laughs> this just that means your clarity has opened up that you are able to see beyond the limitations of senses. So all the enlightened people who've been… How many did you meet? Like I've heard about <laughs> many. Like, you know, say Krishna or Muhammad or, um, or Ram or Christ, Buddha, you know, all the enlightened people who've been on this planet, there is some sort of mention of their birth or death. But when it comes to Shiva, uh, like you say, he, and I've read that he was self-created.